difficult yet, just square up the hat. He loves the camera. I love vlogs. <laughs> It is? No, oh, it's not phone. Wait, let me show it. What do you mean? Are we taking the photo? We can do the thumbnail. <laughs> the lighting's a bit of rubbish, but we're just... This is quite heavy, you know. You said this last time. That's in the vlog. Oh, is it? When's the vlog coming out? The yeah, I actually do. My earrings are getting stuck my thing. But, oh, we're currently in Manchester Airport. In Manchester, waiting for a flight. Let's put my emotional support belt on. I've got one too. Have you got the same one? No, I've got one. Where's it from? A spare what? Jesus Christ. I don't know where.
James and the Giant Peach, the wrong way around. <laughs> Gina, that is. Wait, guys, why did we all know? What? <laughs> Oh, it's because I got the camera out again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think like having that? <laughs> We're in Adelaide right now. <laughs> You're like, the vlog, the vlog. Sophie and Lauren's Adelaide room. <laughs> We're in Adelaide for the Nations Cup. We're here for, how long are we here? 16 days. Um, Hamish, getting your coffee? Uh, no chance. But the coffee? That looks bad. <laughs> no one <laughs> chocolate. I don't want you to You know what's cringing. It's going to be like an instant beer. <laughs> what's this for? It's our first sip of coffee. Ever? Ooh. Instantly shits herself. I think, <laughs> I think that's better than like the UK, but I would, I'm not like smashed. Oh, that's a bit of an anti climax. Yeah. She took Do you want to how is it? Bloody <laughs> delicious. Every time the camera comes out, Emma's like, yeah. I'm always like, that's going in the vlog. Actually, do you want to see yourself? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did you just say? I <laughs> like it. Oh, that's such an ick. <laughs> right, Sophie doesn't find me attractive. <laughs> Any more? Great! <laughs> You're so far away! <laughs> oh. We're in Australia. We're here for the Nations Cup, but we've come a bit early so we can get some training in and get adjusted to the time zone. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. We've been here a day so far. The travel was long. Um, we had like a 12 and a half hour flight and a seven hour flight in the other order. Uh, we flew via Doha. Um, sleep was interesting, but last night's sleep was good. So I feel like we're off to a good start getting over this jet lag and being on top of it. Um, we are currently in the same hotel as some of the teams from Tour Down Under, which is pretty cool. Which It finished today, the village though. Well, not the village, but I um, don't know what it's called. It's like I think it's like a fan zone. It's just here. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be here in Oz. We've already had some good coffee, been out for a spin in the sunshine, and really looking forward to getting stuck into some training. Pretty good start to the camp. 
To what? Race very well. No, I like my chances. Home crowd. No, it's I think it's almost sold out. Or it's sold out. I don't promise it's sold out. I know. Is it big? It's not that many seats. In no. Um, so it's not very hard to sell. Yes. My sister, my mum, my dad. Shout out. Do a four hour flight to get it. Um, that I don't know. Day before time. What gear are you going to ride? For the flight 200, 142. Big good on this track. Um, what other questions? <laughs> it's just so many questions. What's your mother's maiden name? Holland. <laughs> what was your first pet called? Floyd. What was it? The cat. These are all the security questions. What's the name of the first street you lived on? Your first car? Oh, I actually don't know. What's your middle name? What was your question? George. George? Matthew George? Yeah. Yeah, you look like a Matthew George. It's a sociable morning. What do you want to talk about? Yeah, sorry. Welcome to the vlog. Oh no. Tell us more. What's wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> no? No, I don't. What, what's the road work ahead? What's the reference? Sure, I hope it does. <laughs> <laughs>
set of Winston Churchill's false teeth is expected to fetch up to 10,000 bucks when they go on sale in England next month. That's the old fashioned plate like Dad's got. Hey, it's Greg! It's Greg. <laughs> Look how tiny he is. How are you? Good, how are you? Not bad, thanks. Oh, begun. Random fact about yourself, please. You've got to speak really loud as well. I can speak um, one sentence in German. Ich bin 16 Jahre alt. It means I'm 16 years old. Guess when I learned that? When you were 16 years old. Australia was a bit of a hectic trip, I don't think I did the best job of keeping filming regularly. Obviously there's a lot of coffee trips and uh, mooching about, um, which basically because that's the only time I really got the camera out. Um, because track was busy and we wanted to make sure we got the most out of those sessions. So yeah, I mean it was a good trip, the weather was nice for 90% of it um, and what a cool job to be able to go to the other side of the world um, and experience that whilst obviously doing our job um, and then Tom and Matty invited us over for pizza on one of the nights which is really nice and their housemate Kieran was there as well um, so Matty got his homemade pizza oven all fired up for us and we all had to go up making some pizzas and it was just nice to break up the cycle of what is normally competi competition schedule and like being like all cycling focused and able to like sit back and have a nice bit of relaxed out of cycling sociable time which was quite, quite nice. Up myself down there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that in there. Oh. Oh, I'm like a charm. Okay. Let's go. Also, it's B-roll. For you. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> Honey, I'm home! This is nice. That's where I do my ergo. Do you do ergo on turbo? On what bike? Yeah. Here's your pizza sauce. It's not bad, yes. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. Oh. This is my guy. Hello. Oh. Hey. hey! This is Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi. Oh, the famous garage. Famous garage? Well, it's all over your Instagram. <laughs> yeah, because I'm in here. Hence the famous garage. Yeah. Hey! Hello. Yeah, How are you? I like it. I like it. What do you mean? What is that? The motorbike? No, this. Oh, <laughs> that's my inversion table for my spine. Do you know what that is? No. You are. Oh, Sorry, God. I nearly Sorry. said. I wish, Sorry. I wish you'd have done Sorry. something Sorry. else. It's a version table for Rain my spine. You like to stand up on it? <laughs> no, have you not seen this before? Is it Nick? <laughs> is it really icky? <laughs> it's just oh, it's not. Not. Is it really icky? Yeah. No. Oh, I just see white. Oh what? my God, what the fuck? Uh, what? What? Have you never seen one of these? No. I've seen it. I, yeah, I've seen it. Do you know what this is? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's the right setting because it was a track. I had to move it because they needed space in the track. So you like it? You have it at the track? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
and then it decompresses your spine. Why do you get up? You go like this, you go. <laughs> Adelaide. It's, it's nice. Wet? Yeah. Wet? Yeah. Cold? Yeah. Bit like Manchester? <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. Fucking joke. Yes, I do. We're bringing my dog here. How much does it say? 50 what? No, I don't have dots. It's like £3, £5, £5. £5. Pound. Oh. Inflation. I actually need probably up and to be honest. Nah, it's normally dollars, but yeah. I thought it was 50 cents. It's a nice house. Thanks. I like it. Thanks. Such a boy's house. Why is it such a Roast and beans. I just haven't roasted any while. It's really uh, tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we used to roast red beans. Mm. Is this a good place to go? Yeah, it's just around the corner. It's banging. They're a roastery, obviously, and a coffee shop. Yeah. Whoa. 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 All the lights. Oh, how, much, how good would the coffee yeah. B-roll be here? Come on now. Are you just consistently cool? Oh. oh, it's out of focus. There we go. That's the flow, it's good. Oh, Katie, I want a new coffee machine. Yeah. So if he's getting a new coffee machine, we should get to. Yeah. You're right, I tell you. Yeah, see, what are you going to get? I tell you this every time. Because I never go through it all, and then it goes off, and then. <laughs> so I just go to the light. Yeah. If you have a good enough Skinny. machine, it'll steam it well. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Ye
what? Yeah. No, it's a square. Okay. Thing I was <laughs> uh, I'd go like. Cut into little cubes. Well, I did. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, and then what? And then I don't know. A bit yeah, further yeah, along, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Water. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> it's a moment of truth. We've made the hall of... Hall of the fridge of fame. Of the fridge of fame. Where are we going? Next row. Yay! Next to beautiful cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool hint. <laughs> <laughs> We don't spend all of our time in coffee shops, although it does look like we do. Uh, usually we go before training or in between training because we've got time to kill, especially when we're on camp uh, or at races because we don't have to cook for ourselves, clean for ourselves. Um, so all of a sudden we've got a bit of extra time in the day and uh, it is very much sprinter culture to go for coffee. So my favourite coffee of the trip was at a place called Tell Henry. Um, it was just a very smooth and velvety coffee for those people out there who are interested. Uh, a little bit fruity and a little bit nutty, but we went to quite a few places. And the coffee Matty made us actually was, I really liked because it was very dark chocolate heavy. Um, and I liked that rich um, flavors. So that was quite nice. Nice to try some new places. So onto the racing.
So we won Team Sprint the first time in 11, 11 years, 11 years and two months, I think it was. Um, um, Reese had a countdown going as well, and strangely we spoke about the week before, but how long it had been since we have been on top, GB, Women's Team Sprint, and it was, I don't know if this is gonna focus, that many days since the last time we won, uh, which if you ask me is pretty cool. A pretty substantial amount of time, I think it was 2013, um, one of the Nations Cups, or 2012, no 2013. So pretty, pretty cool that we've managed to work our way back up, it's been a long time in the works, the team sprint, so yeah, nice to see a little bit of fruition from all that hard work and that was a really, really good performance um, from everybody, um, in my opinion. And it's just another step forward. Um, strangely, the final, the Chinese lost their saddle. Um, and so they didn't actually complete the team sprint. Um, but it happened after the first half a lap, I think. I think that's what the rules are now. So, yeah, I mean, we still hit consistent performance as we had, like, early in the day. Um, I think, yeah, overall pretty promising going forward. And I'm really looking forward to Hong Kong. Um, sprint day for me. Qualifying didn't quite go to plan. I think I just overcooked it a little bit. Um, but that's okay. Is in in the build up. I came in just like really hot, even earlier than I'd practiced. I think I just got a bit excited, um, and then I just made a mistake in the race in that I haven't really done before, and I think it's just a good lesson to learn this early in the season. Um, a bit disappointed. There's not really much to talk about, so um, I'll just move on to the next one. And I won't do that again. <laughs> Um, and then Kieran Day for me was really good. I have fixed a few things that I've been working on for a few years, basically due to, I wouldn't say lack of confidence, but um, there's just been a few issues in how I think I should ride. Um, and basically I turned up on Sunday and rode really proactively and took control of the racing. Like I used to when I was younger and it was really promising. The final, I drew one, which is not where I wanted to draw in that ride itself. Uh, and I just missed, I think I rode it okay. I just missed the last opportunity when the second um, jump went, which was just a bit frustrating. But apart from that, I was pretty happy with the whole day. So there's like lots of promising things, um, considering that's not what we we're aiming for. And I was still not like absolutely flying going in. Um, so that's really exciting going forward and Hong Kong is the next race for me so I'm really looking forward to like putting all what I've learnt now at Euros and in Australia together and actually see it hopefully a little glimpse of it in Hong Kong um, now that we've got a little bit more of a steady run into a competition rather than straight out of a block straight on a plane. <laughs> um, yeah so overall trip was good and learnt a lot, got a lot of good training in Got a little bit of sunshine, although it would have been nice to have a little bit more sunshine. We came back to freezing cold Manchester and as you can tell, I'm wrapped up in jumpers. So um, yeah, overall pretty good trip.